All right. <laughs> Girls, it's time for the crypto. Shane in the house, episode 856. What up? What up? Is my mic shit? Trying to fucking right. see how it, it won't pull up my background again. Okay. Something's wrong with this thing. Oh. I've been having oh, issues with the virtual background lately. Oh, there it goes. Hey, there it is. DS Crypto, <laughs> hi, guys. <laughs> you guys, there's this new project that uh, my buddies are doing, and I don't know shit about it, but we'll get the fake DS Crypto to tell us someday. <laughs> Yeah, that's well, right. that's a gay ass background, and that background is almost as three series as a three series. <laughs> yeah, it's almost this. It's almost like that. Like, hey, hey, it's, hey, guys, look at the cute three series. <laughs> <laughs> Back to some man cars. So, uh, the big uh, talk of the day is probably what the drips actually up to sixty-seven yeah. cents. Everyone's everyone's doing backflips about a sixty-seven cent drip. That's so funny. Hey, it's better than the twenty-five cents it was sitting at. Oh, for sure. <clears throat> for sure. I like it. Yeah. We'll see, man. Who's out there watching? No one has commented. There's four of you. Yeah. They're starting to see who's some comment. There? Well, we know Joseph's see? out there because Joseph has no life. Like, we're, but this is his life right here. Somehow he manages to fish. I don't know how because he's always here stalking us here. Or Telegram. Glad I've been compounding my drip a little bit. Four days on, three days off. Let's see what I can pull today with this price. Yeah, Let's told see. you he's there. Look, it took him that long just to type that. Today is Joseph's Wednesday. This one is a compound. Yeah, I need to start going back onto a compound claiming schedule because I was all compounding forever, and, it, and then lately I've been all claiming. Yeah, that's what I do when the price starts going down. I'm like, I got to get my money out. <laughs> right. Uh, today's a Wednesday. We're going to claim that one. And we're going to hydrate this one. Come on, baby. <laughs> 
Hey, did y'all go buy your drip today? <laughs> Hey, hey, man, it's been popping. I told you if it's less than a million dollars, it's a good deal. So, uh, so I think it's time y'all go buy some more drip because we about to see 68, maybe 69, <laughs> 69 cents. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, that wannabe well guy, he's pro he's pumped right now. Can you imagine the, the real, real wannabe well right now? He's probably fucking dabbing oh, and fucking know, dancing dude. around. He's all, honey, you ain't even going to get a black eye tonight. Drip is doing good. <laughs> Holy shit. We're playing this one. Hey, 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 honey, I know that I give you your nightly blackening of the eyes, but Drip is doing good now. I just don't got the energy to smack you around tonight. <laughs> But a drip loses one red cent. We come, we going out, girl. For the record, guys, no wannabe whale does not go around beating his wife. That's why the humor is there. <laughs> I mean, if he does, I don't know about it. I think he's a good enough guy that he would never do such a thing. Right. <laughs> Because people are going to be like, oh, my God, want to be well. That guy says you beat your wife. Unless God told him to, right? <laughs> he might. I don't know. He might. <laughs> he might. Holy he shit. might. Yeah. Well, God, I mean, I don't really think that's right. But if uh, you think so, and you God, you said it's going to pump the price of drip every time I pump her in her face, right? All right, well, that girl's going to get a, a couple of black eyes tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. That ain't my fault. I'm roar raging, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. shit. Yeah, that guy's something else. Roll this. Rolling 63 bucks. Let's go. These fucking accounts are pumping up now. I like it. What's up, whale miner? Are you mining some whales today or what? Hey, I got a whale for you to mine. You want you want to milk this here whale, whale miner, huh, baby? <laughs> I got some milking that needs to be done over here. Bless you. Thank you. Yeah, drip's fucking ripping, dude. Drip is ripping. Remember? Drip is about to rip. Drip is yeah. about to rip. <laughs> uh, I wish I knew the rest of the song. <laughs> we don't need no something. We don't need no something. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can find it. Audio files. Oh yeah, we don't need no peg. We don't need no peg. Drip is about to rip. What you got it like the transcript written down? <laughs> no, I should I I just remembered it, but I should have it in the audio files here. Oh god. Hydra wallet, C and J's here. <laughs> 67 cents, 67 cents. Get your bucket, get that drip, get that drip, get that drip. Wait, get your bucket, wait. get your bucket, get a that drip. A few days ago, you were do, you were sucking the hex dick because it jumped one cent. No, you no, no. I, I'm, ha I'm happy with hex. I bought hex at like a, a dollar, uh, like a dollar, uh, not a dollar, right. like um, like fucking uh, 1.8 cents. So a little under two cents. So I'm happy with hex right now. And, and and fucking dude, fucking drip sixty seven cents. What? It was down to twenty five cents like ten days ago. Yeah. yeah. And they said it's going to be a dollar fifty the first week of March. Yeah, well, they say a lot of shit, dude. Uh, Who's that? 
Rip is about to rip. Rip it. Your face. In your place. Rip is about to rip. About to rip. <laughs> It's about to rip. It's about to rip. It's about to rip. It's about to rip. It's about to Uh, yeah, we're good. We got nine people out there, guys. Keep pumping them likes. He's got to pay his son's his son's yeah, car note. So Ian J, we heard a uh, rumor today that about your NFTs that they're uh, the artwork or whatever is pretty cool on them. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, I think they are. Do they have uh, do they have audio as well or just video? Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> well, I can't wait to see because I heard that. Uh, no, that was the talk in the um, voice chat earlier. Uh, which ones are you talking about? I, I'm talking about like eight NFTs this week. I don't know. Uh, whatever Donnie Donnie said that he he liked what uh, what you had going on. Yak Bones, we know it's his uh, it's his internet connection. He's already tried to stop yeah. the popping. Yeah, I'm on like I'm on like dial-up speed right now, dude. Sorry. Oh, are okay. you on your VPN too? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. That might help. Let me take it off. That oh, might help if you turn that off. Is about. And you look at all them. And you got like he's like a million fucking windows open again, dude. I, I do too. I ain't even lie. Probably about thirty windows open on fucking on a couple different browsers. Yeah, I've got a couple of browsers better? open, but not that many windows. I just kind of compartmentalize like all my crypto shit. Same. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Your your video looks better. Your video is not as choppy. Oh, but what about the audio? Yeah, a little better. Hey, try turning off your camera and see if that gives you because that might give you more bandwidth. Oh, hold on, Ian Talk sheet. How about now? Is it better? Uh, you're still getting some some static. Yeah. Fuck it. But it it does seem better, a little bit better, a little clearer. Your video is definitely. Not so choppy. Okay. At least on our end. I know that it can still be choppy on the viewer's end. Yeah. So apparently Fag is supposed to get Fagulud. Wait, it's coming back. I don't know. I guess they've got like a new V2 or some shit. Ah. V V one definitely didn't work. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like I used to always. I think Easy Tiger used to think I was just fucking with him, but because I'd always tell him, and I and I'm still to this day serious. Like I know so many no coiners two years ago that jumped into crypto because of Fag because they had that amazing marketing. They had really good marketing, and um. They all jumped in and then they all got fucking wrecked and they're like, oh, I'll, you're still doing that crypto thing. I'll never touch it again. And I'm like, well, you just touched the wrong ones. You know, unfortunately, right. so <sighs> many people I know, though, because of Fag, they say they will never, ever touch crypto again unless it gets to the point well, where all money goes that way. And they, have no they can't take a loss. Well, they don't. People, especially when they're new, too. Like, bro, I used to not. I used to lose five dollars and be like, ah! right. <laughs> now I lose millions, and I'm like, that sucks. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, Jetty was like trying to do the math. 
the other day of all this like of all the stuff i i bought last year like all the vehicles and the land and shit <laughs> because it was like the big one money crap. huh she didn't realize she was like oh my god i didn't realize you had spent that much money last year and i was like yeah i fucking told you <laughs> <laughs> I, I yeah i bought some expensive toys myself <laughs> they're all paid off though Got my car yeah, the only thing that's not paid off is the Beamer, but uh, <laughs> like the, the the Harley, I paid cash, you know, and then I paid off the vet in like four payments. All the other vehicles, yeah, if they weren't paid off, I paid them off. I got twelve more months on my uh, embroidery machine. It went from fucking uh, five years to, to twelve months left, um, and then. The only thing um, is my car and shit, which I need to start working on my car next. Once I finish, once I pay the embroidery machine off, uh, my goal is to have it paid off at least by hopefully the summer and shit when it picks up again in the summer. Um, but then hopefully I start working on my car and shit. Yeah, I'm just, like that's why I just can't wait to get this Beamer paid off. Like I've been, I think I'm already like a month and a half ahead in the payments. But yeah. like the girl was like, "Wow, you're paying this off," and I was like, "Are you kidding me? It should have been paid off the first month I got it." Like she's like, what? Yeah, I used to make a lot of money, and now I don't. <laughs> no, I don't make as much money. Yeah. I say, man, if drip goes back to if drip goes to a dollar fifty, dude, I'm doing okay. I'm do I'm doing better than okay if drip goes to dollar fifty. <laughs> I would be happy with that. Damn, Ian J, you at the bus stop, bro? It's loud as hell. Yeah, damn car driving down the street. No, like I say, because if Drew goes a dollar fifty, that's like fucking sixty bucks a day for me and shit. <laughs> like what? And then on top of that, I'm still getting fucking the what you call it? The the arc arc's doing great. So between arc and fucking well, if Drew gets a dollar fifty, that is. Or when when Drew gets a dollar fifty. Yes, damn. Not a bad day. 14079 from drip. And that's compounding for the shit out of these accounts too. Hey sheep, did you oh you you got a small you only did throw a couple hundred bucks in on that new account? On what new account? Did you start a new drip account or something? I uh, I started a couple of them, but no, I threw like eight thousand dollars in them. And between oh, the two okay. right now, I think they're probably they're probably looking pretty good. Yeah, because I won't. Did you oh, take out? You threw in like 60 cents or something? Yeah, I got 6,500 in this one and 3,400 in this one. So, yeah, I'm good. That's what's up. Really good. I know, like, it's hard because I've been selling, you know, now that for the first time ever in Drip the last few months, I've been selling. And, like, mm -hmm. now I'm like so scared to compound at these prices. <laughs> Dude, every time I compound, the price dumps again. Every time I compound, the price goes up. Yep. No, like I said, I'm back to my uh, rolling three days, or, or rolling four days, and claiming three. I claim Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then like I say, because right now I got like two and a half months left. So if I start rolling more consistently again, yes, yeah, so I can push this thing out for another six months to a year easily. Yeah. Now my original account I started on the day drip launched is. Uh, I still have one third of it left if I wasn't to to claim or compound anymore. Yeah. Yeah, but what were you on your taxes on it though? Uh I just crossed over the twenty thousand claimed, I think. Yeah. Yeah, see, I'm yeah, I'm not even close to that. <coughs> yep, time to hopefully it keeps going, man. Well, I say Donnie's helping. Donnie's um helping us do this game and stuff like that. Um, it's a it's an NFT game, but we might be doing a version of it uh with for drip. So um, it'll help it'll help burn some drip. So kind of hold the price up, and we're not changing the contract or nothing. So you'll still have the twenty percent, um the the drip the ten percent in ten percent out. You'll still have that fee going in there to the burn too. Uh, plus another fucking um maybe like another six percent six point five percent. So um, we're, we're actually trying to work on a game for drip to help burn more drip. Nice. Yeah. You're going to try and get 4X on board? 
Uh, actually, we're in, we're in talk with um, Bartertown. Uh, it's the easiest way for me to get messages to Forex back and forth. Oh, cool. Oh, Forex Bartertown won't even Forex. talk to you anymore. He's too cool. Uh, uh, no, I, fucking... saying, I, 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 I hit him up like maybe I don't. I guess I don't hit him up enough to where you know. Well, sometimes he the... could like take a while to answer though. Yeah. So you know, I, I, you know, dude. Yeah, with the Bartertown, you know, dev, dev, right? Dude. Huh? Ah, the poker dev. Yeah. Stuff for the poker, no, poker dev. dev was like shit. He, <laughs> yeah, he'd wake you up. No, no, it's not poker dev. No, it, it's Don. Donnie is the dev. We got the contract. Oh, cool. I got the contract yeah. for the game. I got the contract for the game. Nice. Donnie's gonna fucking you know saying tune it up and and make sure it's a clean contract and you know saying Donnie's gonna check it and then we're gonna get a new UI guy and then gotta get an NFT guy and then whatever token we want to use we could use. But like say we're gonna test that on different platforms. Um. So like I say, if it works for drip, um, it could work for elephant in inflation. It could work for sheep inflation. And so, you know, because, you know, it's going to, you know, if the community if the community likes it, the community likes it. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, we're trying to help. We're trying to help solve some of the problem, not just be a bigger part of the problem. Uh, well, right. for starters, then you're going to have to lose your selling finger. Yeah. Um, Eliminate the cabbage hands. Yeah. Well, no, no, because like I say, even when I sell, the 10% still goes to the tax vault. He's all one up, but when I sell, it goes to the tax vault, so it's different. Oh, my God. No, 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 I'm saying like so the, 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 rest the, the, the mechanics still go the same. The mechanics are still the same. The rest you know of saying? you are a problem, right? But e &J <laughs> pays his 10% tax. <laughs> that's, what yeah. I tell, that's, what I tell, that's what I tell Morpheus. I said, Morpheus, quit fucking selling your drip and shit. Every time you sell your drip, it goes down a penny. Or if you say you might have come on the street, man. Right? Mm. I wonder how big Morpheus's drip account is now. Um, I don't know. Fucking, I was talking. I was talking yesterday morning in the, the DJ chat. Yeah. Me, him, and T-shirts were in there. He said he might be coming on the stream. I don't know. He's just been going yeah, through a lot of bullshit. Been on Telegram for two hours. Yeah, that's probably when I was talking to him. Yeah, I t I've been talking to him lately too. At Dubs. Damn. Uh, yeah, that's coming from a guy that has hex and crystal meth all in his name. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> I'd buy any scam except an ENJ scam. Damn. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. No one's asking cool. you to <laughs> go go buy some more meth. <laughs> Yeah, man. That's what we like to hear. Let's get I, it. I, I hope so. You gotta make me open up my YouTube channel so I can see what the fuck is real. I can't even see dollars. I'm back to hookers and blow. That'd be great. What, drip $5? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, he'll forget about Hex again if Drip goes to 5 bucks. He'll be all, Hex or what? Oh, I went all in on Drip, baby! All right. Your mic's popping. <laughs> Maybe it's just yeah, your I, internet. Would, it sucks. Yeah, I would wish I sold all my my hex for drip at that point. <laughs> Bird got him again. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure there's a bunch of people that that will probably never buy a token from me again, but it's okay. Mm. It's okay. It's okay. You know, it's okay. I'm working with the same dev again, guys. He's learned his lesson. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's pretty much just me and Kenny. It's just me and Kenny. You know what I'm saying? Kenny got his dev team, and then I got my team, and then um, Donnie just kind of likes what we've been doing the last month. And so, so Donnie, you know what I'm saying, how can I help? And so, no, Donnie's kind of kind of helping us out a little bit. Don't so. take his help too much. We need him to freaking get this wool shed out. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, 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 no. Like say, fucking. Um, on the game, on the game, I, I really don't know. Fucking the game might not launch for like, um, like another. Is that the what game Kenny the guy to do the, the game? Well, Kenny got the game dev. Kenny already got the game dev. That's what I mean. And then what? So Donnie's gonna help you guys with like UI shit or what? No, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Kenny got the game dev. Kenny got the game dev. And then I told Donnie what we're doing. How we're doing a um uh, a remake of a game 
uh, we're going to call it Growers and Thieves. And we're going to try to have it out for Kushstock so we can get some NFTs away at Kushstock. And Donnie liked the idea. And then he said, well, let me see the game that you guys are trying to do. So I sent him the game and I sent him the game contract. He says, I can help you do this. And so that's how Donnie got kind of involved in the last game. Okay, so he's actually going to – so the other guy makes the game and then Donnie makes the contract. Well, the other guy can do it all. With. The other guy can do it all except he wants to overcharge us, right? And we already have the contract for the game, so, you know, we just need to get him for the UI and the uh, – we just need him for the front end and um, and the NFT work. That's it. Dude, Donnie's Donnie said, brother – I don't know how good he is, but Donnie's brother, as far as I know, he he's into, like, video game coding type shit. Yeah. I'm surprised he's never mentioned him unless he doesn't feel like his brother's irresponsible enough or maybe not advanced enough. Uh, well, I said this guy, this guy has a bunch of games out on Cardano and stuff like that, or a bunch of contracts out on Cardano. So, uh, he, Wednesday, he, Wednesday, you know, things. Wednesday, Wednesday. <laughs> That's right. Come here, Joe. Come here, <laughs> Come here, guys. Come on. Oh, I got to do that to get you out. Come on. So the other one, she doesn't dance the same way as Ludo, but she has a little dance too. Oh, yeah, baby. Come here, Daddy. Yeah, dude. Fucking this little dog got into the into our neighbor's yard again. She's going through the fence, bro. Oh wow. One of the twins said he, he uh, Julian. He said he looked outside. And he said he just saw her ass like disappearing into the neighbor's backyard. Oh, and then I go, I go out there and she's all like running back and forth by the fence. Like, how do I get back? I don't know. So I had to like <laughs> grab her and drag her back through. Like the whole scare. So it's the way that the, she's so tiny. It's the way that the fence is right. The other dogs can't get through it, but she's so yeah. tiny. She yeah. can slip through. Oh, damn. Yeah, because the design of the fence, it's called like a, I think it's called like a neighbor design or whatever. Like it's a wooden fence, so like one slats on my side, the next one's on their side, next one's oh, on my yeah. side. Oh yeah. So it goes back and forth. Oh, so the whole fence is like that. Oh shit. Yeah. yeah. So for two reasons, one, it when we because we get high winds up here, so it allows the winds to break through, so they don't tear down the fence, and then it's oh, okay. like. Um, and then it, it and if it does fuck shit up, you're you're responsible basically for the ones on your side, right? So every other one. Yeah. So if a if a whole section of the ch of it rips out, it's not all on like you, dude. You're like, okay, we right. gotta fix this. Damn. So she sneaks through there, dude. She can like, cause she's so fucking tiny. Oh. Cause this ain't this is the second time now I've caught her in their backyard. And they've got big dogs. I don't know how friendly those dogs would be if they come outside and this little thing's back there. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it could go bad real quick. Yeah, and, and she could get into a panic and forget how to get back into our yard, you know, and take and start running around their yard. I almost want to, like, go knock on their door and be like, hey, this is my dog, and she's been sneaking into your backyard a lot lately. I wanted to know if we could try and introduce our dogs face to face, so that way, if she's ever My over here, wants to get banged by your dog. Bro, right. she's fixed. <laughs> Dude, even when my daughter like asked me to 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 take her on, I that was my first, literally the first thing I thought of. I was like, she's so small, she might be able to get through that fence to the neighbor. Thank God yeah. she can't get on the side of the house. We don't have that kind. We have the kind where it's like. One neighbor, the sections on his side, and then the next sections on the other guy's side, and they've got like big pit bull that between my pit bull and theirs has like broken like pieces of the wood out of the fence, like straight oh broke God. them from jumping on them. Damn. So if she got into that yard, it might be a, a, a disaster. Cool. Cool. Dude. Every time I look up Furio, it just, it just disgusts me. It just disgusts me. me. Right? I know. Yeah. It's pretty shitty. First time I've ever had a max account in anything, and it pays me after taxes, what, five bucks a day? <laughs> I heard it paying like 15 bucks a day or something. I, I no, think it was like not even, at a max account, you're not even getting 15 bucks a day. 
That's fucking crazy, bro. You're after tax. So before taxes, I think it's like eight something a day, right? But you got to figure. So you claim and that's like a dollar something. And then you go to sell. And when you sell first, every time it makes you approve the contract, that's anywhere from eight to 11 more cents. And then the sell itself is anywhere from about a dollar fifty to two dollars and seven cents. I, pay attention. I got OCD. You know yeah, how I am about gas. Yeah. I'm like fucking bullshit. Because <laughs> it's it's the only like if they were able to fucking figure out how to lessen the taxes or like that right there. See that approve. Oh, you have to approve the contract yeah. every time. That's, That's bullshit. I don't have to approve the contract every time on elephant on art. On fucking trip on Animal Farm, none of those. Yeah, that's just another ten cents for them. That's fucking. That's eight to up. eleven cents, dude. Every they, I've seen it above eleven cents, but usually it's eight to eleven. And and where exactly? Why does it every time, dude? Obviously, it's the way they wrote the contract. Yeah, yeah, they developed so, like. And where and so to me that uh, what I think is. They're just scamming that eight to eleven cents themselves because they why did every fucking time I don't have to approve every time with mm. with you know BT's stuff forex's stuff like yeah. the only time every time I have to approve and it still doesn't cost me money like that, it's just a signature is um when I'm removing liquidity, you know, on pancake. Pancake will be you know that'll ask you to yeah click the sign. But it's True. no fucking, there's no charge. True that. So to me, I mean, I've been thinking that a while. I know I brought it up to you before too. And um, I feel like, I mean, I could be wrong, but how come their contract does it? None of these other ones we use on a regular basis. I'm not saying others don't, but um, out of every, anything that I deal with on a daily basis, it's only that. And it may not be much, but that shit adds up. If every time somebody sells, they're making an average of eight to eleven cents. Hey Shane, what's your art looking like? Uh, it's looking like a man. How much? Right. How much you throwing art? How much you throwing art? I did a thousand dollars on the pre-sale, like the private pre-sale, and then yeah. uh, I put a thousand dollars on the NFT. Oh, okay, okay. okay. I and I've, been, I've reinvested since it's been going on. Um, probably about 40 arc, but I was like, fuck, I don't want to do what I always do and compound and compound and never take my profit. So do, do you on the weekends, do you throw it all back in on the weekends or no? No, well, right now I'm just trying to ROI and I'm almost there. And once okay. I ROI, then I'm going to start throwing it in a lot back in again, a lot more. What was your net uh, deposit value at? My what? My net deposit value? Yeah. It's down. It's one eighty one eighty one. Oh wow, you're doing pretty good then. Oh yeah, because you got the NFT and shit. I'm at one twenty four. Yeah. Oh yeah, that makes a difference. Yeah. Didn't we start out around the same spot, right? Yeah, yeah. I just didn't get the NFT. We all got the the one dollar, the one thousand dollar whitelist spot. Yeah. Okay. So then, yeah. So right now, like my principal balance is seven hundred and ninety point forty nine. Mm -hmm. and, um and max payout 237147 so i should i will <coughs> i'll be roi before my net deposit value gets down to zero yeah i'll have already be roi by then and then i'm going to keep pushing it in there you know keep putting a lot of it back in yeah like i say um yeah i'm not really sure what a game plan is for mine yet i, I you know yeah, I want to hit that four thousand max deposit because then, you know, at that point, you can't do uh, nothing else except yeah, referral. Yeah. yeah, and then you're, you know, then you just it's it's easier to then uh, you don't have to figure out what you're gonna do as much. It's an easier gameplay. Yeah, because then then you can't throw no more money in there, so you might as well just yep. the four thousand. But what's that like twenty grand though? Uh, I don't even know. Probably what. what Four thousand arc and shit at five seventy two. What about twenty two thousand? Do the math. Yeah. 
would be nice. You know, if if Ark can keep going, if they can pull through and like a bear, uh, you know, launching in a bear market and then a bull market, a bull run starts, I think it'll be really help them because let's be honest, what has started in this bear market that has survived? Nothing. Drip. Drip was started before the bear, this bear market. Drip was oh, already drip. Going. Yeah, I was saying so. You know. No, what what was started like in this bear market? It's still going. Like, look at all those rug pulls, all those bullshit bots, Furio garbage, even Animal Farm relaunching, dude, relaunched into shit. Wait, wait, what? Like oh, since the bear oh, market, oh. all the stuff that's launched, you know, because a lot of shit is launched and nothing. Ha- look, look at ooze. Ooze went to shit. Um, yeah. Piston, um, yeah, Baker I thought Protocol. Piston was on a comeback tour or something. I thought Piston was coming back or something. I, well, I mean, it could, who knows? Um, no, I don't, I, I never invested in it, and I, I thought, but I, that was one of the ones I did think will do better. But mm-hmm. they also have to launch these games that they claim, you know, that they're making. Yeah, if they launch the little game, then it will help them. Yeah, yes. actually, that's not gonna. You know, um, we're trying to do like the game. I think right now, um, Penny kind of has like mixed feelings about doing the game for Drip. Um, he thinks we should do for on on just not in, without without a Drip token um, because we don't really know what's going on with Drip. But I said for a game, I think Drip would be like the perfect game to to do it with for the game um, to use a Drip token and stuff. But if you're going to use their, their logos and shit, you better make sure 4X is okay with it. Cause Sorry, Forks my granddaughter. My I can see coming after people. I don't throw a shit. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Especially if it's if there's investing going on. Like, 4X is the kind of guy I can see like being like, fuck you, you ain't stealing from me, you know? Like, business is business, you know? Well, actually, I don't... Well... We're not asking for we're not asking for him to whitelist no no walls and like that. You know what I'm saying? We'll leave the twenty percent tax on the ten in the ten out. We'll leave that tax on there, and then fucking we'll also add the burn mechanism in there. We you know what I'm saying we can all do that in the mechanics of the contract. But be careful that, using the logo. That's the thing. Oh, oh, like I say, well, before anything solid, you know, what I'm saying we're we're in talks with with Barter Town. We're in talks with people first and stuff like that. So you know, if, if it's something they don't like or something, you know, what I'm saying we don't like, you know, we could change it any time. Um, yeah. This thing, so it's, it's not it's like you, know, you don't we're, want to get caught talk- up, dude. Yeah, yeah. I'm, like, I'm in talks with BT right now too, though. So you know, I'm in talks with a couple of different people, um, and so far, people are liking the idea of having games yeah. that that burn that that burn the token. You know what I'm saying? Well, you got a close enough relationship with BT too, like personally, that it yeah. would be easy for you to be like, "Hey, man, we want to do this thing for you, and we want to use your logo." Cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, say, because, like, say, if it could help Drip, it could help BT, it could help Sheep, it could help any token who's going to be facing that in the future. You know what I mean? It's just pretty soon other people are going to be developing games just for that one token, just to burn that token for the community, you know? Well, that's kind of similar to what, like, uh, Joker was trying to do with the villain token, isn't it? But he was going to, I mean, there's going to be more nuance to it, but same idea, like, <laughs> have this community that burns all these different tokens hmm. but i think having a game behind it like like yours that would make it a little cooler yeah you know? like say uh, you know because like rhino rhino was playing like this wolf game and like say there's like a 50 percent chance you lose the on the mid there's a 25 percent chance when you lose on the stake and so there's a lot of gaming mechanics behind the game to where it's a community driven game and that there's what i think will help a community you know saying a community driven game that you know saying is using the community token yeah look it says no more ponzi's even enj gold projects lol so enj um you should hide the fact that you're going to be a part of this, so that way, it, like, people will actually get into it. 
<laughs> well, actually, um, yeah. Well, actually, if they don't want to get you, they don't have to. It's cool. You know? DJ's, hey Shane, get fucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, people are gonna people see an opportunity. I mean, if, if if people like the idea of the game and stuff like that, if people play the game before and they see how the game works, they might jump on it. If not, I, you know, it's it's not that big of a deal. Like really say, you, know. you see that comment it says E and J is an energetic guy, <laughs> but but not touching anything he does. <laughs> I'll tell you what, energetic is definitely the right word. If you ever hang out with E and J, he's got so much energy but it's positive it's like a really happy upbeat energy and yeah. um that i love fucking hanging out hanging out with you no, every time and like, they, like they, you know, Vegas, and i know you're gonna be there i get excited you guys you guys need to come hang out with your boy you guys need to come hang out with your boy in kushstock in april uh enj gold's gonna be him and and the spot down money's gonna be at kushstock fucking giving away nfts um to the medical marijuana industry community so come hang out your boy <laughs> Come hang out with your boy. Where, See, that's where, one thing about me, it? though. Okay, every, so people who think, like, you know what I'm saying, I'm a scammer or whatever they think of me, um, I still show my face in public everywhere I go because you know, I know I didn't do nothing wrong. If, if I burn people, so, if I scam people, so I wouldn't be telling people where I'm going to be at. You know what I mean? I wouldn't <laughs> tell people, like, hey, I'm going to be fucking at Kush Talk on April 15th. I got a booth there. You know what I'm saying? If, if I had anything to hide from people. Hey, or if I yeah, like yeah, I you, remember, you remember a guy named uh, David Peterson? <laughs> no, never heard of him. Mm. <laughs> what about him? <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, let's see, like say, but does he show his face after the token? You know what I'm saying? He showed his face during the token. I'm still showing my face after. No, oh, and I'll tell you what, hanging out with you, there's a lot of people that recognize what? you, and never, it's never any negative. People get excited when they see you, they want to take pictures with you. Yeah. E and J doesn't think of himself, but he's like a little celebrity, you know, amongst the crypto and and weed world. Um, well, me and, she, me and Shane been, or me and she been around so fucking long, you know. It's like, oh fuck, you know, some real OGs. You know, we've been around so five Finley, six years. Okay, so Finley, uh, yeah, nobody's gotten anything out of it. To, uh, but today, I actually took uh, like fifteen thousand dollars of my own money and sent it back to the uh, to the um, the multi signature wallet. So we've collected most of it back. But and, you uh, did make some money while it was running, right? Didn't it was you a little bit. Out? Yeah, there was like eleven, but I yeah I sent fifty all together. So, yeah, but uh, yeah, that's where well. We're okay, now waiting. just to be if they come back, just be, they come back. If not, then fuck it, whatever. It is what it is. Yeah. No, just to be clear, um, the developer I was working with was trying to pay off community A. I got in community B, and he owed community A. And then me and him build community C, and so he was still paying off community C. So yeah, I, I was kind to attached to a, a, a sinking boat, but I did not know that in the beginning. Um, and so I can't really say it's, it's my fault, but uh, it only I took was twenty on. boats for him to realize. No, no, no. Like I say, because you know, I, I was there in the beginning, so you know, I thought, you know, like I say, I, like I, say I, I tied myself to the dev, and I thought the dev was going to do something. And you know, saying he, he the dev fucked it up. If, if the dev didn't airdrop those tokens, um, like say the BLI wouldn't have went nowhere. And like I said, I, I I don't know if he had it planned up that way already. Um, but like I say, yeah, you know, I don't know. It was a learning experience. It was, it was, it was definitely a learning experience. Yeah, you're one of those guys that the first time you put your hand over fire and it burns you, you don't go woo. That's fucking hot. You're like, put it in further. He's just like me. I go back for more. <laughs> Ian J keeps getting burned. Eventually, he's like, you know what? I'm gonna pick up one of them red hot coals out of the fire. <laughs> okay. No. Burning. Yep. Done. <laughs> no, like I say, the first time, the first time I was excited to be part of a program. You know what I mean? Like, oh shit, fucking! I was excited. You know, I didn't even know what the fuck I was doing, and then I started fucking finding out about the fucking the the gambling laws and all this kind of shit. And I got, then I started getting nervous, like, oh wait, 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 maybe I don't want to be part of all this or shit. Yeah, they don't fuck around with gambling laws. Bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you know, boom. Like every time, like with Furio was gonna do their fur bed, I was that was the thing. I I even asked that frack, and I was like. Uh, what about the legal shit? Like, where are they doing it? Like, this is there's a lot of legal shit involved to do a fucking casino. Yeah, and so 
Well, like I say by personal contracts, you know what I'm saying? Like FO and FOT, um, those contracts still have money in them. What are you talking about? Pulse is happening. Hey, you're a fucking troll. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's happening. We'll see. Yeah. No, it's happening, dude. <sighs> Shit is definitely it's happening. happening. I'm back on the hex train, baby. Wait, wait, what did you say? Dude, what they're just about done. They've, sh they've shown fucking proof of the shit being done. So it's like, shut the fuck Has up. Has he? Already. Well, they're showing the sinkage, the the the, the sink. Yeah. Um, Everybody's on testing it, testing it right now, dude. Like, how, how do you yeah. hook it up nodes to a fucking test net that's not fucking up and running? <laughs> fucking retarded. Hey, is, so, is Mitra? Yes, 1.3 million in the drip faucet. That's awesome. That's much better fucking comment. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, if you're always bringing up fucking negative shit, dude, you're a fucking troll. I'll call you what the fuck I want. This is my show. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like it, get the fuck off my stream. <laughs> Calm down, little Richard Hart. Jeez. Oh man, sick of people. He's gonna start telling people to I suck. Some fucking positive stuff. energy to the fucking to the to the channel, dude. Oh, so just talking Tell him to get shit his fur. Mouth. Tell him to get his furries in there. Get your furries Fuck right, you, there. dude. I'll push what I want, bitch. Hey, nothing is like it's just, nothing is financial advice. It says right when the show starts. Time out, bitch. Entertainment. <laughs> I'm a money pusher. We make money over here. Shut the fuck up. <clears throat> Little bitch. Bitch! Oh, man. Well, I'd say, you know, I, I, I learned to deal with that shit a long time ago. I said, you know, bro, be, it, it, it's 2023. If you're still mad at me about shit I did in 2018 and 2019, I'm sorry. That shit's like four or five years. I forget about the shit I did four years ago. So I'd be like, I stopped smoking crack. Yeah, bro. You know like, if, it, if that's your if your fucking life's goal to just get on here and talk shit every day, I mean, yeah, on, dude. You know, like, <laughs> like bro. Hey, like, literally, literally, bro, all you're he still does, mad about all he fucking does is come on here and talk shit, run his fucking mouth, and honey, who is job. that? Like, I, I, mean, do, I don't even know who he is. I don't know, and I don't care. If you're just gonna come on here yeah. every day, run your fucking mouth, you know, eventually I'm gonna fucking snap. Yeah, they've been coming yeah, no, around I'll, lately. I'll usually a lot let it slide more. for a while, dude. But like, come on, dude. That's all you're gonna fucking. Yeah, do that Finley me. person. They've been watching a while, but I don't know who they actually are. But lately, they've been watching a lot more. They know you, E and J. Well, everyone knows me. I used to be part of a cult called IND, and I have the most haters, baby. I have more haters than anybody. I have a whole cult that's hating me. To this day, they invite me to the chat like, hey, come come hang out on, on this TV show. I'm like, bro, uh, I, I don't need no negativity in my life. I'm good. I'll, I'll stay over here. I'll stay where I'm kind of like, I'm not going to go somewhere where I'm going to get jumped and, and beat up every time I go. Like, nah, bro, I'm good. I'll stay here. Cool. You know, no hard feelings. Just, you know, I'm, I'm good over here. Yeah. Plus, we 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 pick on you here. You you like you're our little pick on guy. You know. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. I say, like, say it's funny because, like, um, <laughs> yeah, drift's already proven itself. Definitely ain't no Ponzi. <laughs> it's a sustainable itch Ponzi. <laughs> It does what it's supposed to do. What do you, want to call you buy drip, you get drip. Price, price, of, price, price goes up and down. So. <laughs> yeah. The nah, fuck I told a lot of shit. So. <laughs> oh man, dude. I'm, hey. Maybe man, free. I'm... So call it what you want. I love drip. Not even lie about it. Well, you're always no fair weather, E and J. That drip is now. It's not like shit that just works. 
Almost 69. I like it. It gets worse. Well, Drip's co- almost coming, what, two months away from two years. Wow, that's so crazy. Yeah. And yeah, you know what it's, you know what it's we love never going to catch up to? Sapphire. Sapphire, four years, I think, uh, next month. Yeah, Shane, that's like having a that's like having a, a, a girl that's four years old then having a boy that's two years old and say, you're never going to be older than your sister. No shit. <laughs> well, the real <laughs> shit works. You know what I mean? That's my point. No shit. The kids are never gonna be yeah, because it's fucking two years it started two years before. So what the fuck, bro? Really? What's up, David? D- David's probably Finley. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Come to troll us from another account. Oh yeah. Yep. Just another day at the office. So, Ian J, when is your shit? Like, how far out are you guys looking to where your stuff will be? Ready? Um, the goal is for the the growers and thieves. Um, before Kush Talk on the fifteenth of, of April, uh, so about six weeks. Um, the con- we already have the game contract. We just got to do the U- the the front end work. Um, and come up with the NFTs, which could take like a week, maybe two weeks. Um, I mean, it, it's not very, it's, it's, you know, saying what we have is, is not going to take very long to do because we already have the contract. So we already have the contract, the staking, the, the minting. So we already have the, the game set up. We just got to do a new front end and uh, just tweak the mechanic a little bit. But, you know, so it's just like a rest. We have the, we have the recipe already. We just got to, you know, thing, put a couple of different ingredients in there. I figured out how to get my camera on my big mo- my like 32 inch monitor that's right here on the wall. So now I can like sit here and see what's going on in front of my house without having to actually look. Oh, technology just makes us lazier and lazier. It's a good camera though, man. 180 degrees, 4K. <laughs> Ian J, why don't you get a uh, passport and come to Curacao? Um, I might. I might. I, I heard you got George and stuff like that. That's what's up. Congratulations. I was talking to Morphe about it this morning. That's what's up. Yeah. What's up? Um, well, right now I'm still trying to fucking. I'm doing trying to do Kush Dock, and then a week after Kush Dock, I'm trying to go on this fucking Hex Cruise still. Oh, you're still trying to go on the Hex Cruise? Well, it's only two K. Yeah, well, it's two K plus round trip from here to Florida. Yeah, but you yeah. gotta you're gonna have to deal with hexagons that whole time. Two K per ticket? No, 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 two no. K per the room for me and my wife. Oh, okay. For, uh, for the actual cruise. Yeah. Yeah. On and the then ship? what? Airfare will be maybe eight hundred dollars uh, maybe, round trip. May, maybe two fifty round trip, less than three hundred round trip per person. What? So probably like another five six hundred for round trip for me and my no wife. No shit, that cheap you can get. Yes. From where, where do you yes. fly out of? Out of Phoenix, San or? Diego. San Diego. Yeah. So from San Diego to Miami, you're telling me you can get round trip. Three hundred bucks three? round trip. Wow. Two eighty nine something <laughs> like that. The cheapest tickets I have found so far from here to Curacao, which uh, um, act, is uh. 650 round trip per person, which is really cheap. But that, that goes through like Phoenix and then over to Charlotte. Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, I don't know what I, I'll see. I got to see which flights I'm going to take, but I'm going and I'm going to go stand in that water. And be like, I'm in the Caribbean. Uh, 
Southwest non play style. I don't know. I'm, I'm, this is the first one I'm looking up. Uh, yeah. are expensive now. <sighs> you used to be able to fly between Vegas and Reno or Vegas and LA, Vegas, Phoenix, Vegas, San Diego, any of those for $99 or less on Southwest. Now it's uh, like a couple hundred dollars. For two people, because my wife is going with me. Well, hell yeah, she's going with you. What are you doing, Ian J? Uh, looking, like they came up with the fucking. They're popping up the wrong at the wrong dates. Well, you fix the date on on what on the internet where you're looking at. at yeah, fucking. I put. I told them the fucking. I told them April fucking, and it's coming up. April. I want to say it's the. Uh, uh, for two people, uh, business class five eighty. I'm not sure if that's one person or two people though. Probably uh, one person, but five eighty business class. Business yeah, class five, is a step up from. Um, I, th I think from um, like economy. Okay, then they got some. Um, Crispy, are you watching? Crispy travels a fucking lot. And he lives in Miami. So you got to get to Miami, and that's where the uh, cruise ship is. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah. Oh, damn. So you fly into Fort Lauderdale? Yeah, you fly in Fort Lauderdale and you depart, and then the cruise you jump on the boat. Fort, Fort Lauderdale, Lauderdale, where is that? Like the central part of, or is it more? Or is it still south? I want to say it's fucking. I don't fucking know. I don't look like a fucking map for you. Well, if you're going there, you figured you'd. Yeah, it doesn't mean I know fucking where it's at. It's by the water, because the boat's leaving Fort Lauderdale. Oh, I think isn't that where um they had the fucking uh, what's it called the hurricane. What? Was that for Lardo? Let me look at the map and then I'll tell me. San Diego. Are you at, no, no, okay. So Fort Lauderdale is where I originally thought it was. Yeah, it's, I'm gonna do one pass here so I could so I know the price are. So okay, do you San fly Diego to Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale or do you fly into Miami? Fort Lauderdale from San Diego to Fort Lauderdale. One stop, Houston. One stop, Dallas, Texas. Um, yeah, business class is five twenty-five. Uh, anytime is um, three ninety-nine. Uh, yeah. You know where I want to go, dude. Where I've all <coughs> always wanted to go since I was. Like they built it, that fucking Atlantis out in the Bahamas. I've been wanting to go there for years. I when did that place open? Maybe the nineties. Let's look. Yeah, I don't want to. You know, I just want to. They don't have no stops. But I guess I got to stop in Dallas. Yeah, there's one stop in Dallas for fucking two thirty eight or two thirty four, and then there's a, a want to get away. I have no idea if that's a plane, whatever. Uh, it's one thirty four. Just 
Just realized my fridge has been cracked open for hours. Oh, that's no good. Oh, dude, they'd open that long ago, the fucking Atlantis in the Bahamas, 1968. So then I, then I was right. Since I was like a fucking kid or a teenager, I've been wanting to go there. With their, they've got like fucking water park and like there on site. And yeah, I want to go there. Oh. We need to go to the Bahamas, boys. Yeah. Yeah, this, this we'll go to Curacao. And then if it's that awesome, because you're coming no matter what, sheep. You're gonna be, you'll be all right. We'll all be all right. Yeah, we'll have to start like we'll have to start doing like fag, um, like money rabbit, and uh, go on tropical vacations every year. I was up to. <coughs> Yeah, so as long E&J, as the headphones starts man again, that should be good. Right? <laughs> E&J, so um, you don't have to get a passport to go on that cruise, even though it's going to other countries? Yep. Don't think you need your birth certificate with the stamp, on, like with the indent um, yeah. from the stamp. And uh, no COVID shot, no nothing. Because huh, I know years ago there was like um, – you just it, you just couldn't exit the um, the boats when when they went into port. Well, they recommended you not to, but so you weren't supposed to like you were. They said I could walk the on the land and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they could go get the jet ski, go with the dolphins, do all that kind of shit. That's cool. Because that I know that here. before when I was looking at shit like this was you know eight years ago, nine years ago, something like that, um, to go with my buddies. And they were like, well, if you can't, if you don't have one and can't, some will let you on, but then they don't, they won't let you off at port, you know, unless you're going to like Puerto Rico, you're hitting like American territories, like yeah. the U.S. Virgin Islands, you know, shit like if you're hitting something that's American, you yeah. can get off. Otherwise, they said I would have been stuck on the boat. You know what? But to me, that ain't really a bad thing and shit. I know. I wouldn't have cared, really. I'd have been yeah, like, you know what I mean? I'm still fucking chilling. I mean, yeah, it might yeah, suck. Yeah, you guys shit. all go have fun. I'll tell you fucking go. I mean, that, that's a lit part. I've never been on a cruise before. You know what I mean? Yeah, and because the, the cruise, my buddy, actually, Sheep knows him, uh, Mark Hornsby. Sure. Our buddy Mark would go. He's friends with the band 311. Like, so he, every year, they do this 311 Cruise where the bands there and all these other bands. Three Eleven and um, he. So sing he a song. Like, sing a song from Three Eleven. I forgot how it go. I'm not gonna sing none of their songs. How's it go? I'm not. Whoa! Whoa! Anger is the color of your Whoa! Whoa. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the one that's in the down, down, down? Yeah, I'm going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Down. <laughs> that was their first big hit. Chill. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's them. When I was like 16, I was like, yeah, that's kind of what helped me start to come out of the closet that I liked rap because they were like rap. Saw rap. Me come out of the closet, right? When they're saying, all oh, these guys are going down, down, down. Shane's like, I want to come oh, out of the closet. That, I'll closet, tell you yeah. what, if you don't. If you've never seen 311 and you like them, yeah, you have to see them. Have to. If you no, don't I, like I, 311, I, I, I like their music. If people that don't like them but can stand them mm-hmm. go to their show, they'll probably become a fan. They do. I mean, I've seen 3,000-ish shows in my life between big bands, tiny bands, everything. Yeah. 311 is probably one of the greatest live bands I have 
ever seen. I mean, like, damn. So they, <coughs> they sound exactly like the CD, dude. Yeah. And I've seen well, them yeah, more than I remember, I've been to a lot of venues because I did the medical marijuana industry for fucking like five years straight. And so I seen every, I seen Bone Thugs and Harmony. I seen Method Man. I seen Red Man. I seen fucking. I, I've seen fucking hundreds of. I I, I can't, probably I probably probably seen. I can't say thousands. I don't say thousands, but I know I've seen hundred or two hundred live shows. Yeah, and that's more than most people will ever. Yeah, see yeah. In their life. Uh, the only reason why I saw like thousands is because. I would play a lot. Band, yeah. yeah, I played shows and all my friends were in band. That's how I met Black Sheep. Yeah, yeah. All my friends I don't know I can say hundreds and shit because um, five years, 12 months, fucking every other weekend, that's only yeah. like, like that's only like 50. That's yeah, yeah, like yeah 50. I, I say hundreds because I've probably seen like 50 shows a year. Yeah, dude, there was times where mm-hmm. I could see um, like I could go to three or four concerts like in a – in a day, maybe for sure in a weekend. Like, so if I had a big concert coming up, like, and we weren't going out of Vegas, we're going to be playing locally. I would go to all, any of my friends that were playing, even, yeah. like, even if I had to bounce around to a couple venues in one night, I would go to all my friends shows oh, yeah. and I'd fucking flyer the fuck out of it, you know, and go let everyone know that we had a show, yeah. especially if it was a venue, the venue we were playing at, you know? Yeah. And, and I would do I would sometimes, there was times where I would, I had like three or four outfits because I knew each crowd is different. Like I okay, okay. So bar. you make fun of me, but you take three backup outfits. Well, no, it's because I knew in order to fucking promote my band, like okay, the beauty bar. They're a little bit more like, um, like uh, um, hipsters, you know. So I would like throw on a, sh- a dress shirt and a, and a tie, and and you know. And then I would go to the next place, which was like some some like dirty punk rock venue. So then I would take that off and I would just have my T-shirt. You know what I mean? And uh, it depended on the venues. And, and you make fun home. of me. And you make fun of me. Uh, you wear, you're a 50-year-old man with chains this big. I was a 26, 28-year-old rock star promoting my shit. No, you now, if you would catch me doing that in my 40s, I wouldn't be like, oh, I got all these wardrobe changes. <laughs> Hell no. I used to hate that too. My my bandmates would be like, seriously, because sometimes I make them come out and I'd be like with me, and I'd be like, You have to bring a, a nicer <laughs> outfit when we go to this place to promote, bro. They will not even look at he's like, and he'd even be like, They don't, they're not gonna like our music. That's not the point. By the time they've gotten in the door, we've already got their money. (laughs) And they might like us. Mm. So, uh, but yeah, dude, I would, I would go like to four concert, like local in Vegas, four shows in a night, dude. And I'd watch, like, I wouldn't just like pop in for five minutes and be like, Hey, I'm out. I'd I'd watch, I'd watch my band, my buddies, if they were bands play, (laughs) <laughs> pop out, go catch the next buddies playing. It was, a, but that's how I got to know like everybody, like every I, anybody who was of anybody in that fucking scene. That's how I got to know because I was out there. I was going to freaking hundreds and hundreds of shows uh, just within Vegas, you know, a year. And not to mention, like, you know, because when I would go out on tour, those count as shows that I would see, too. Because I'd go out, I I would watch the other bands, especially if we were playing with, like, somebody that was bigger, you know. Hey, Zon. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come here real quick, because of the TV. Um, Who's that band? What's that thing you're trying to go see in Vegas? Uh, uh, The band? It's not a band. No, the concert. It's the band. When we were young. When we were young? Uh, I guess they're doing a when we're young. Oh, fucking- oh, yeah, that's like a big festival, right? Super yeah. Festival. yeah. Festival, like fifty bands. Yeah, my son said like fifty bands. Do they have any good bands this time? Because it used to always be really lame bands. Is there any good bands? Uh, I mean, uh, Blink One Eight Two, Green cool. Day. Oh, oh. It's like Paramore. Uh, oh, so a lot of like fucking like um, like early like early. When I was like sixteen. I was like, yeah, that's kind of what helped me start to come out of the closet. 
And- <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I was like, what is this? <laughs> that would be cool, man. Seeing, oh, yeah. seeing like Green Day and Blink 182. Yeah, like, yeah, like Sum 41, Simple Plan. Okay, um, this one sounds. sounds MXPX, cool. Lesson J. A lot of punk rock bands there. Yeah, a lot of punk rock or like punk punk. You know. Nice, yeah, yeah. nice. Because a lot of times they've got like lame bands, like. Like like there was all these bands last time, and I was like, "Oh, oh see my- now like um uh, this first came out like a couple years back, like right after Fire Festival failed, so everybody thought this was gonna fail." Yeah, and, I remember um, that. Every, yeah, this was actually was talking this, shit. Yeah, no, big pack because like yo, like all these band names is like yo, there's no way this is gonna happen. They yeah, actually canceled it, but I think they canceled it because of like Corona or bullshit. But yes, um, they're yes, bringing so it well. back. It was around the Corona time because the first when they were there was like some of the old screamo bands that I really liked from back in the day that were supposed to be on the first one. And I was like, no way that. Yeah, no exactly. Way. Like when we saw that lineup, it's just like, yo, this lineup's way too good to be true. Yeah. <laughs> like that, that's legitimately what it is. But um, yeah, October uh, 21st or 22nd, I think they already got all tickets sold out to 21st, but it's the exact yeah. same lineup on the 22nd. Okay, that would be cool. Like to see yeah. like like Blink One Eighty Two. I never thought those guys would ever get back together. So that would be really cool to see. Now they're charging like fucking like a thousand dollars for a regular ticket. That's crazy. I know when Blink first came back together, or Mark and everybody, their their their, their tickets were fucking like, ridiculous. I want to say right now, like the general admission for a day pass is like under three hundred dollars. <laughs> Here, you want you're going to do a trick for him? Hmm? Oh shit! <laughs> you know you could probably get hot chicks if you stop doing that, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> all like fat bitches, all right? I they love like fat this. bitches, bro. I love fat I told bitches. I this morning, I went in, I went in the room. Yeah. Hey, nine, they got they got the most love, man. Hey, hey, no, I walked in the room right at like six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, like yeah, I know you girl, told me. So like, oh. Hey, we don't. She was she like off golf. She was like she had a pretty face. She said she had a like, golf. Yeah, golf. You said she was golf. That's like the one way that big girls <laughs> big can be golf bitches. Hello. Ew. Hi. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Uh, they're not good, I'm, I'm, No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least this time it wasn't her and her sister. I had all three of these hoes. Yeah, one time I walked in there, fucking, um, there's two sisters. One little sister, you know what I'm saying? She's probably like maybe like 250, 300. And then big sister's about like maybe like, you know what I'm saying, 350, 400. Ew. And I'm like, God, both of them? <laughs> no. <laughs> Ew. And so, and so, you know, and they're they're actual sisters, right? So then, as I've seen them this time, you know, saying like a couple couple mornings ago, I was like, John, I'm proud of you. At least this time, they're not sisters, dude. The only time I've ever touched a girl that was like even like up to about 130 pounds is because she was six foot tall. Oh no, 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 no! Like I say, they got a pretty face. There's big girls. Nah, yeah. ain't no such thing. That's a lie. That's a cop out. What? Not only that, big bitches be stanking. I, you, they can't help it. They got all them rolls. <laughs> See, he didn't deny that. He's like, yeah, man, I'm not stank. <laughs> <laughs> hey, his room smelling like a fucking like like the locker room when I'm playing hockey. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think the bitch can fit in the shower either. Oh, that's big, man. Gross. He's all, that's why I got that hose in my room, Dad. I just hose them off between rounds. That's all I got the pool for. <laughs> what, what, dude, that's how your pool got cracked. 
Didn't you say your pool was cracked? Now we know. He's yeah, throwing that's his not that should have been cracked. Well, I was having sex in the pool and cracked it. <laughs> yeah, no, he was throwing his fatties in there to bathe them. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh. He dips him in the pool after every round. Oh, you girls need to go rinse off, jump in the pool. <laughs> I have horrible friends, man. <laughs> I'm talking about my son's love life like that. I don't appreciate it, Shane. You started. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> I do want grandkids one day. What? Not going to happen, buddy. Smoke too much Mexican weed. already got grandkids, boy and girl. Yeah. <laughs> boy and girl. Boy and girl. Y'all need no more. Yeah, boy and girl is enough. <laughs> Thanks. DJ, yeah, you know just because you're about to get a senior discount doesn't mean you need more grandkids. <laughs> Boy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Uh, Shane wants to say hi. Oh, look how say big you're that. getting. You're getting big, hi. dude. How old Talk are you him. now? Eight. Eight? Dang. You're starting to get no, big. You know what? Is- you're as big as your grandpa by now, I bet. Mm. Nah. No, it's crazy <laughs> me and Heidi were talking today. And um, she says, when I met Tony, when, when Heidi met um, his dad, he was eight years old, too. Oh, wow. And cool. so, you know, and, and my son and my grandson look just alike. Just alike. Your grandson's way better looking. Now, mm-hmm. your grandson is way, he's way too handsome to, to, to be a te- really related to you, Ian J. So you look just like your grandpa, huh? Just, just like me. Just, You're almost just like as tall me. as him already. <laughs> oh, dude, man. Ooh, my camera. I was eating chocolate ice cream earlier. I think I got chocolate ice cream on my camera. Okay. My camera looked blurry to you guys, or am I just no. uglier? Yeah. Huh? Blurry would be a good thing if you are getting uglier. Yeah. <laughs> what? Mm. Trip to the moon. Well, let's 68 check the price. cents, baby. If let's I wake up tomorrow with 75 cents, I'm going to be happy. Cents, folks. <laughs> 68. You oh, give drip every every decimal zero it has. Oh, you said 69. Oh. <laughs> 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 now we're doing 60. We're doing 69 matic for the um for the badges. 69 you said 69 too <laughs> yeah we're doing 69 matic for the for the badges <laughs> you know what 69 is right <laughs> man now i can just sit here and watch the whole in front of the neighborhood like some freaking karen this is great yeah, big old big old monitor <laughs> And all it does is show me what's right there in front of me <laughs> without me moving. <laughs> Great. I can probably zoom in and spy on the neighbors like a real Karen. What are you talking about? My oh, I can. My uh, my security camera. I actually the window in front oh. of me here. It's in. It's right there. So now my big monitor here. I've got it set up where I can watch in front of my house right here. What are you paranoid? Like total, total tweaker central. <laughs> all my cars that are outside that don't go in the garage, I can see them all. I can see the Why'd whole. Why you put it up front. there? Just, just for, just I got it last year when my daughter, when she first moved out, I wasn't, I didn't trust her. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> and then she came to my. And then one time when the cops came here, uh, looking for. Um, my stepdaughter's boyfriend. I had just gotten the camera and I was like laying on the ground like a tweaker, watching the cops on from my phone on the camera. Like, what the fuck are they doing here? And then I realized they weren't here for me. And then I came out and I was like, uh, why are you guys in front of my house? We're investigating a gun. A gun? Well, a BB gun. What? You're oh, fucking uh... with these kids over a BB gun, really? <laughs> So, funny. so the kid, I mean, he was 18 too. He's allowed to legally have a BB gun. Right. <clears throat> Man, I want to go to that place. 
that Atlant Atlantis Bahamas. I don't want the other one with all the water slides and shit. Yeah, yeah, the one that I've been wanting to go to since like the nineties, probably. Okay. Yeah, the water That's slide. Like, it looks like a like. big Mayan temple on one yeah. of the water slides, and you slide down, and then you go through a tube that goes through a shark Under tank. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you trying to get someone killed and shit. Trying to get someone killed. I mean, yeah. You don't swim with the the sharks. You go in a in a tunnel through the sharks. Yeah, that, that's the white people shit. They want to go swim with sharks. Yeah, touche on that. Like that's a dude. <laughs> I'm not that kind of white person. I joke around, but there ain't no way you catching me swimming with no effing sharks. Mm. Uh -uh. Nah, cause yeah, but that's that's definitely like a crazy like that's a white person thing. Oh, honey, what do you want to do while we're on some tropical vacation? Well, let's get in a cage, and then they're gonna chum the water, and they're gonna bring great whites all around for us to look at. Yeah, fuck you. Mm -hmm. Like, remember too, you got to get in and out of that cage. You know, <laughs> you got a smart shark. You're effed. Yeah. No, nah, there's there's um, what was it, 28 meters or some shit when the when the people are underneath the water and the shark. They're, they're, oh, that um, movie. Yeah. No. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Forget that. That, that thing, they're like out of breath and are, they're, they're, everything's going out and that kind of shit. But man, as I was, I, yeah. That I shit. Watching cool. movies like that gives me anxiety. Like. When I was a kid, it wouldn't have bothered me at all. But at, now that I'm getting older, like watching that, there's dude, another one like 47 Jaws meters. Fucked me up, dude. Jaws fucked me up. I, I, I don't even like going swimming in a big pool if it's dark by myself. <laughs> so you don't go swimming by yourself in your pool? Um, I actually, I'm, I'm not sure if I have or not. Actually, because normally people always down to go swimming. I was like that as a kid in my mom's pool. I would like if I was by myself in the pool, like I would like be watching the deep end, like with my goggles on, like waiting, like dude, uh, somehow Jaws is gonna come ripping through into the pool, <laughs> and something's gonna get me. Yeah. Even though I knew it was physically impossible in my mind. Yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah. yeah. just fucking with me. Yeah, being in pools alone, I have the same. Like, I don't really like being in a pool alone. If maybe if there was like other people all around, you know, it's different. But like you're yeah, out there. Saying, I'm, I'm, I don't think I've ever jumped in my pool and no one, you know, saying because normally someone said, "Let's go swimming," you know. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I jumped in my pool and jumped right back out real quick. But uh, yeah. Yep. Oh shit. Who else is going on? So how's 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 uh, Cappy, how's Cappy doing? Uh, he was on the show yesterday. Yeah, I know. I I, I was watching for a little. Bit. I was watching for like the first twenty minutes. My ears right. have been real bad lately and shit. So. Yeah. Yeah, I can really see the beamer. Ian J, so that Cush stock thing, where's that at? Southern California somewhere? Uh, Mid California. Um, it's right there by San Bernardino. Oh, in the other armpit of California. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You live in one armpit, and that's the other one. No, I live in yeah, I live in armpit of California. That's the other, yeah, that's that's kind of true. <laughs> you live in the southernmost armpit. There's multiple armpits in California. It's a big place. There, and then about the middle, you know, Bakersfield, kind of that area. Yeah. That place, uh, yeah. yeah it, they say it's getting pretty bad right there in that area too. Yeah, I haven't been there around that area in probably 20 years or more. Yeah, they're saying San Bernardino is pretty bad um, um, and stuff like that. 
San Bernardino, I've you know I've been through. I used to go to a lot of concerts out there. Because they say San Bernardino is kind of like a, a, a like a desert land, and so like a lot of um, illegal grow ops go there. But um, people, you know, they have such big plots of like land, to where you know, saying like, oh, you want to rent me out uh, two acres of land, you know, an acre of land, and the uh, you know, saying, and the yeah. landowner's like, oh well, shit, no one, no one's renting, no one's renting the property. So they're kind of like, you know, they don't got no choice but to like say, okay, yeah, I, I guess I will. You know what I mean? They got to pay the mortgage and the utilities and the bills and shit. So, you know, so uh, I say, yeah. I'm going to get off here, guys. Yeah. All right. Uh, you jump off, All Shane, right. or what are we going to do? Uh, yeah, I'm going to jump off, too. I kinda All right, guys. Ready. I'll see you guys in the chat. Cool. All right. Later. When Lambo. When Lambo. When Lambo. When Lambo. Yellow. Lambo, when Lambo, yellow, 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 Lambo, shooting to the moon, to the moon, and go, I want to When I was like 16, I was like, yeah, that's kind of what helped me start to come out of the closet.